Okay, so right now we're going to turn to English because we're going to talk a little bit with Christine. She has a line of energy healing products. We're going to find out what she what she's up to here at the Holistic Fair. Hi, Christine. Hi. How are you? So you tell us that you uh, basically you you prepare oils and and you also uh, collect uh, crystals and stones. Um, yes, I make uh, holistic oils. I do sprays. These are roll-ons. They each have different purposes. Some are for protection. Some are for uplifting energy. Um, I also make bundles. This is Palo Santo with a, an amethyst. Yeah. Um, these are really nice because you get Palo Santo and then you get to take home the crystal later on and use it for meditation. How does it, how does it work? So Palo Santo, you light it with fire, and then you burn it, you blow out the fire, and then the smoke is what actually cleanses things. So uh -huh. for example, if I wanted to cleanse this crackle quartz, also known as rainbow quartz, I would hover it around, and my intention is what actually cleanses the crystal, the smoke is just a physical representation of it. Okay. Um, so these are my crystals here. I handpick everything. Um, I have Lemurians, I have Rose Quartz, Citrine, uh, Lithium Quartz, which are very rare. I actually um, get them all from Brazil, so it's a huge process of getting these crystals. I have Black Tourmaline, which are for protection. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and then I have some uh, instances over here. Instances? Uh -huh. These are my personal favorite instances. I feel like everybody needs to have these instances at home. They're my favorite. Um, everything changes when you light up an instance, right? It does. And the, the energy, energy changes. changes completely. It makes everything brighter, lighter. Um, I light one up every morning. I light up my, my Palo Santo every morning. Um, I actually really like sage as well. I always tell my clients that sage is a good cleanser and Palo Santo is a good bringer of good energy. So I use them both when I cleanse my house and when I cleanse my crystals, I use them both. Can you use them on a daily basis? No, I use Palo Santo on a daily basis because that's what brings in the light into your home. Uh -huh. And I use Palo, I use uh, sage once a week and I cleanse my entire house with it. Okay, and, and you do those? You prepare I prepare these. these. Okay, <laughs> so we're, we're can we, this is called Luna. Is this the name of the shop? Yes, Luna Botanica. Botanica. Yes. Yes. We're here in Miami, yes. Florida. This logo, is this, it's like a, this is the eye of, it's like an eye, right? It's a third eye. It's a third eye, yeah. Third eye goes right here. Exactly. We all have one, a beautiful one. Right there, we can see it. If not, I'll write it down. So they can find you here, your base, Miami base? Yes. Here? Okay. And um, I'm also a Reiki master, a uh, Reiki healer. I do energy healing. Um, so whenever you want to come see me, let me know. Okay. I first work with crystals the, too. First time at the healing arts? No, I actually came as a participant. This is my first time here as a vendor. As a vendor? Yes, and as a healer. <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. This is Christine's work. Come by healing arts. We're going to be here all day long in Virginia Gardens, okay? So check out this wonderful fair. Thank you so much, Christine.